Instead of stairs for your roof, use walls instead. And instead of an aquarium, just put your fish in a glass block like so. And these are 37 cheap Minecraft build hacks. And hey, the YouTube analytics god bet me that you can't hit subscribe before I hit the ground. So if you want to prove them wrong, land on that red sub button below. It's free, and it helps out a ton. We might have built this out of mud, but these aren't mud blocks. Rather, by using brown mushroom blocks like this, we can mix it in as something of a smooth mud texture. And honestly, seeing this proof of concept, I'm amazed that smooth mud wasn't added in with the rest of the textures. Because seeing this, it really does look nice. If you're planting sugarcane next to your crops, it doesn't always blend well. But if you mix in podzel next to your farmland, that texture will blend a lot nicer when you're placing it next to the water source. And that way, we don't have that ugly dehydrated dirt look distracting from what could have been a really pretty farm. And in my eyes, I'm glad this fixes that. When you're in a hot climate like the desert of the Badlands biome, oak leaves really change their color, but that'll let us make them into tumbleweeds instead. Since if you were to just tuck a couple of these onto the ground, they do match pretty nicely with the dead bushes that we already got. And then you could use something like birch leaves or azalea leaves to match the actual texture that you're going for, giving you all the plants that you wanted, dead or alive. If we were to tuck this birch trap door into the corner, then you'll notice that the white inside of the texture makes it into a pretty great bed for your dog or your cat. And at that point, just add in an item frame with some food nearby, and I think this will make for the perfect spot for your pet pet to hang out. Instead of a torch this size, why not try the supersized one? With the same materials that we'd use to craft a regular torch, we can make ourselves one of these campfire mega torches. And then if we add around signs around the perimeter, we've got something that's ready to be set up at your next base. So if you're looking for a design that's not gonna break the bank, but also looks like you actually care about your build, I think this is a happy medium. By just mixing a couple of crimson planks into the inside of a trapdoor barrel like so, we can make it look like we have our very own grape stomping barrel, which is not only useful for your next farm, but it might come in handy if you need any grapes at your next lemonade stand. And honestly, for how cheap this is to build, I don't see any reason not to put this next to your next vineyard. I mean, it's at least easier to come by than the purple core that people use. I think that's a definite plus. From afar, these might look like seed pickles, but zoom in close, and it turns out that we actually use candles in the same place. But as you can see, these do work pretty well as the version of our own dead sea pickle. So if your aquarium happened to spring a leak and kill all of your coral, I think this is a nice touch to add in as well. Especially considering we can place as many candles in a one block space as we can sea pickles. It's just too perfect to pass up on. With the way that banners sway back and forth, we're able to get a neat animation when we pair them with item frames. And you'll see that with these blinking lights. Now, surprising as it may seem, there's no command block trickery or redstone happening here, but rather the item just occasionally clips through the banner as it sways back and forth, and that'll give us the perfect thing to line your tunnel with. And if you want to make the item frames invisible, but you don't have access to commands, just make the backdrop out of birch planks too. And there you go, problem solved. If your base has a narrow floor plan, here's why you need trap doors. Since with a couple of these, we're able to separate our stairs from the floor above, but it won't make the room feel any smaller. And it also keeps anyone from accidentally falling into the staircase, which I think is also a benefit, at the very least for safety. And is it simple? Sure, but it's also effective, so I don't think that's a bad thing either. If you mix in a couple of upside down barrels into your floor, then you'll notice that we get quite the pattern to spice up your spruce texture. Oh, and not to mention the fact that you'll be able to fill up all of them with some hidden storage space, which I guess gives us a literal way of tucking our money in between the floorboards. A <laughs> nice touch for sure. The new mangrove trap doors from the 1.19 update work amazing amazingly as wheels, and this wagon proves it. Since even though it's tough to get a proper circle in Minecraft, I think these are as close as we're gonna get without using Mr. Cat style commands. And then if we put these to use by making a wonderful wagon like this user design, I think this especially sells the illusion. And it's a lot better than some of the other things you can build with the trap door. With just a wooden shovel, we're gonna make your door look 10 times more realistic. Since by changing the grass that's underneath the door to a grass path, now it'll finally have that small gap underneath that'll make it look like a real door. Because at least in real life, if there's no gap underneath the door, or it's not opening that much. So this will fix our ones in Minecraft, all while being insanely simple to do as well. I never would have thought of this, but if you had a lectern facing a wall like this and then add leaves over top, then you've got yourself the perfect plant to put inside your house. And honestly, I love how simple this is for how weird of blocks it uses. But if it finally gives me a use for those jungle leaves, I'll gladly take a reason to put them out. Whenever you build a farm, you're bound to have these little patches of water that are hanging around. And unfortunately, those break up the farmland texture. But instead, if we use dark oak slabs like this, we can waterlog them to hide that water, yet still hydrate all the crops around. And then, if you're looking for something even more to do with that slab, you could add on a scarecrow like this with a jack-o'-lantern face, and now you got yourself a light source as well, which will solve two problems with one solution. Stop building your chimneys like this, but instead, do them like this. Since, by adding in just a wall and a stone pressure plate, the smoke can still pass through the top, and it'll make the campfire design look a lot more realistic. Since the trapdoors that you get from the nether don't burn, we can use a crimson trapdoor like this to make a really nice furnace design. And if you wanted to, you could even flip open that trapdoor 
and toss in your ancient debris to get it to actually smelt it, since that won't burn in the lava that you tuck inside. This is not an end portal, but from a distance, it might trick you. And up close, it's still a pretty funny conversation starter to have. But just using the new skulk blocks, we have a texture that matches the void that we see out in the end. So if we line a 3x3 three three grid with a couple of end stone blocks and eyes of ender, you might have the perfect artificial piece to put on display in your next museum. As you'll notice, the cartography table has the same texture as the dark oak planks, which means that if we mix one of these cartography workstations into our table like so, it'll look as if we've placed different items on top of the table. And I think that's a really neat effect, especially if you don't have item frames on hand. Or really, even if you did have item frames, there's no way that you're putting three items in the same frame, so this is something special for sure. If you're making an aqueduct or a sewer in your base, then change out the regular cobblestone for mossy cobblestone and seagrass to make it look as if algae and plant bacteria are starting to build up within the rocks. Which not only adds a distinction between which blocks are underwater and which aren't, but it also adds some nice world building to your build, all without costing more than a little bit of bone meal to do. By using a mix of furnaces that face outward and inward, we can make ourselves a sidewalk and the gutter to put inside, which I think is a really nice touch if you hide the front with a slab. And if you've got plenty of cobble from all the time that you spent down mining, I think this is finally a good use for it. From here, this just looks like a smoker, but as soon as we add a lever on top, then it starts to look like an old television set. And granted, we might have to do what this user suggests and squint really hard to see it, but I think for a set piece in an old living room, this can definitely do the trick. When it's laid out like so, these trap doors don't look like much, but as soon as we flip them up, you'll notice that this user gave us the design for some pretty neat trap door boxes to have in your base. And what I love most about these is that they don't all look the same, giving you some realistic variety to how the boxes play out. It's just learning that pattern's gonna be tough, but if you look at it with these birch trap doors, it becomes a lot more obvious what to do. Here's how to make your table look expensive without actually spending that much. Since we're just four stairs facing into each other like this, we can line the top with trap doors, and there you go, we have a perfect table design without having to do any kind of complicated building. And from there, if you scatter around a few chairs, this will already be perfect enough to put on display. Though personally, I'd rather use birch trap doors instead of the oak ones that this user did, since those will blend better with the sandstone that we're using anyway. With just a handful of wooden planks, we can craft together the pressure plates necessary to line the top of our fences and add a cool little railing to our build. Which in my eyes is such a simple solution that I'm amazed that I never thought of it. But after seeing this user's post, it's definitely something I'm gonna add into all my builds. Just maybe don't put these wooden pressure plates next to the fences in your animal farm. Otherwise, all you're gonna hear is clicking noises and then it won't seem like as good of an idea. With a couple doors like this and trap doors placed horizontally, we're able to overlap these on top of our armor stands and get ourselves a very own functioning wardrobe. And while the armor that you place inside might be expensive, I guarantee you that the wood needed to build this wardrobe is nothing like that, giving you at worst a cool build, and at best, it might even help to hide some of that armor in case you need it. How do we get this fish inside of a block? Well, silly as it may seem, the answer is actually pretty cheap. All we have to use is a waterlogged chest, an item frame with a map, and then place a glass block over top. And if we follow the steps just like this user lays out, we'll be able to get our own tropical fish inside of our blue glass aquarium. Or rather, should I say a fish bowl? Because at this point, it's pretty small. But I think that adds to the charm, and it's definitely worth building in your next base. Did you know that there's hay bale half slabs? Well, kind of. Because if you get a far villager like this one and then tuck it underneath a slab or stair, it's possible that the hat on top actually blends in with the hay bale texture. Which is pretty ridiculous, but if you have a villager breeder, I think it's more than worth a shot. Because as we all know, nothing comes cheaper than villager labor. Just make sure you don't look too closely at its eyes when it's begging for help. This is an ice block, and these are icicles. Or rather, blue glass panes that we're gonna make look like icicles. Since by dyeing some glass light blue and hanging them underneath a bridge like so, you'll see that from a distance, these work perfectly as the icicles that developed underneath the overhang. Especially when the light blue matches the color of the ice so perfectly. It's a nice touch for sure. Did you know that smoke from a campfire is able to pass through a block? Well, sure enough, that's gonna be the basis for this new grill that we're building. Since with a couple of looms like this, we can lay it out in such a way that it looks like we've got a smoking grill for our outdoor patio. And honestly, when the alternative is building one of these out of a bunch of iron and mine carts, for those of us on a budget, I think this will more than do the trick. If we just line a couple of signs upward like this, then we can make that tower look like it's a fallen rope bridge. And while it might look silly from some angles, I think if you're looking at it dead on, this will definitely do the trick that you're going for. And honestly, I'm sad that there's no way to climb this, otherwise we'd have a hilarious huge ladder to put inside of our base. If you place a trap door next to a slab, you notice that the hitbox is laid out in such a way that a trap door almost looks like a half-half slab in some way, or a quarter slab, I guess. And with that logic, if we place our spruce trap doors next to our spruce half slabs, we get an extra gradual way to detail our builds. And one that from a distance, I think really sells the illusion that we're going for. If we place down two spruce trap doors like so, and then add in chains over top, we have ourselves all that we need for a cute little swing to hang off of your tree. And honestly, I love how the metal bits on the spruce trap door seem to blend in with the chains that we got here as well. It all just works so perfectly. Look at how much of a difference we have between this leaf block and this one here. And the only thing that we added in to make that was a couple of vines like so. And to me, it's so amazing how far we can go with 
such a simple design. Though I must mention that if you plan on adding this, you might want to invest in some string as well. That way you can limit how far the vines actually grow and make sure that your new plant doesn't get out of hand. Instead of stairs, here's why you should use walls. Since when you're trying to get a slope in your build, whether that's for a roof or something else, you'll notice that walls made of the same block are capable of making a smoother yet steep slope that you can show off in your build. And if you don't have a stone cutter, these do end up being cheaper than using stair blocks as well. And in my eyes, that's a win on both fronts. By just using a couple of stone slabs and stairs, we can redesign our mine to look so much better. And now these different layers of depth actually make it look as if someone mined there instead of just leaving a smooth wall of ores and rocks. And while there's no way to make ore slabs in the game, if you cover them up just right using plain stone, you can at least make pretend that there is. And I think that's much better than what we had before. If you just put two big drip leaf plants facing into each other, then their texture merges so perfectly that we got ourselves our very own drip leaf bench, which I think is a perfect addition for any park that you put this in. But if you're worried about those drip leaves falling down as soon as you sit on them, don't worry, because with a couple of redstone torches underneath, we have a survival friendly way to make sure that these don't fall. Here's how to make a fancy pirate ship without spending all your gold doubloons. Since by tucking in a spruce boat into a mix of trap doors and stairs like this user does, we can make a very convincing little boat to put in your shipyard. And not to mention the fact that by using an actual boat inside, we can still get in and ride the boat as usual, though where we ride it to won't be that far. But that's still a lot more functional than most build hacks, so I'll let it slide. And with that folks, YouTube thinks that you might like this video, so see if they're right and have a good one, alright?